This is pretty cool, Jill. <laughs> Jill knows I've been coming here for about 20 years and kind of dreamed about this moment. Um, but it's more about our team, uh, hardworking, smart, and just super passionate about the change that we're making. Um, I want to thank um, the other finalists. Um, special shout out to Infinity, um, small world that Infinity is actually our landlord. <laughs> they were kind enough to sublease us their <laughs> manufacturing space. Um, and to me, it's just a great <laughs> example of the tech sector helping each other. So we owe you guys one, not this one, but we owe you guys one. <laughs> um, so we started Oxygen Eight January uh, 2020 and we had the mission to improve indoor air quality and do it in a sustainable way. Uh, then two months later, COVID hits. And we realized that we had to have a new sense of urgency around that mission. Um, and it was just incredible for me to, I'm a three-time entrepreneur, but to see you know, that team over there and 135 oxygenators really step up. Um, we were supplying senior care facilities around North America, uh, classrooms for our kids. It's not just about not getting sick from the virus, but cognitive uh, function, offices. Um, so really proud of what we've done. Um, but I encourage all of you in your, in your kid's classroom or at your office, find out about most buildings don't have mechanical ventilation and good filtration, and uh, we're all being impacted by that. Um, really uh, excited to be scale. Scale is not always easy. Somebody had said that earlier, uh, particularly if you're a Vancouver-based manufacturing company trying to scale through COVID where people were sick, couldn't come into work, uh, through a supply chain crisis. Lead times from our suppliers went from 12 weeks to 52 weeks, which was, which was really tough. Um, and hard to find manufacturing space here in, in Vancouver. Um, but luckily we've had CRB, CBREs help us find a, a new factory, which is uh, great. Um, uh, lastly, um, I just want to talk about the tech community. Uh, I've been really lucky in my career to have some, some great mentors, and many of them are the, the BC legends from the tech uh, community. Um, James Topham, who, who can't be here. When I moved here 25 years ago, James took me under his wing and introduced me to all of his audit clients, which helped me get to know the, the community. Uh, two guys on our board, one's here today, Blair Simonite and Keith Spencer. Another kind of legend here, uh, been with me on my board, two companies now for more than and 10 years and super supportive. Uh, guys like Eamon Percy, Mozadik Umadeli, who are sadly no longer with us, but always would go out for coffee with me when I had questions and help on my business. And uh, Jill remembers this, many years ago, we, we were together on the uh, Clean Tech CEO Council, sponsored by BC Tech here, where we shared our challenges and ideas over some nice red wine. And, it was always great to bounce ideas off of uh, fellow clean tech entrepreneurs. So, uh, Joe, thanks to you and your team. Uh, what you've done for this community is really amazing and helping companies like ours scale up very quickly. So, thank you. Congrats.